Bueno, si es que es mes 40, ya tenés 50, querés. Bueno. Um, a gente vai. Agora estou a pensar o que é que a gente vai fazer. Se vamos. Jogar um bocadinho de Heroes Evolve, né? Ou vamos dar um bocadinho de Fallout. Bom, um, estava aqui a ver, a ver o que é que ele estava a fazer. Antes de tanto, também dá. Eu acho que a luz não, não vai acabar assim tão depressa a live. Posso é ter eu apanhado a live dele e ele vai fazer uma live curta e ir acabar entretanto. Mas acho que não, a gente vai acabar lá para o lado das 5. Para o lado das 5 não vai dar. A... Para a gente estar, estou a estar lá no, com ele e tudo, estar lá na stream dele, não só a dar o arco, mas também a falar um bocadinho no chat. Ah, que anito, graças. Bom, um, dois, três, quatro. Mais uns, uns ou 12 vídeos desta playlist e a gente acaba. Um, neste momento vamos jogar um bocadinho de falar com o Vegas. Que era algo que eu, tra que eu quero trazer para o canal e que aproveito para começar já. Um, vai ser fácil. Não. Porquê? Eu vou foder a mim mesmo outra vez e vamos jogar na dificuldade mais difícil de todas. Porque sou estúpido. <risos> Se até a esta altura vocês não acham que eu sou -me. estar me a pôr a jogar jogos deste género. Na dificuldade mais difícil é porque vocês não me conhecem. <risos> porque há. Este é um jogo com horas e horas de conteúdo. Bom, um, não sei nem onde é que eu faria isso, que é... um burnout content version muito rapidamente vamos só ver o... qual é que é o último save game que isto vai mudar logo porque eu acho que hum? what 
best has auto skill. Ha! Ah! Deixa eu ver o que é que eu tenho equipado. Item. Pearl. Não. Posso continuar isto não tinha. Mas não. A gente vai começar um novo save. Embora eu vá jogar neste save mais tarde. Espera, deixa-me ver uma coisa. Ah, ok, eu tenho um save normal. Aqui. Tenho um quick save também. Provavelmente a gente vai ter extremos silenciados ou isso. Eu no YouTube provavelmente vou ter alguma cena de direitos de autor. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. <clears throat> the NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 <clears throat> tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its <coughs> mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, 
hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? <clears throat> Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Eu também sou o Fallout 76 <risos> Um Fallout que se eu não sei o nome Ninguém se lembra <coughs> Quem? You're awake How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Eu vou pôr o meu nome. Pode ser isto ou não, não. Chique Brique. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. <coughs> Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. <coughs> I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Isto parece o estereótipo asiático meu. Ok.
era por luz por insetos. <risos> Parece o Hulk Hogan é quase meu. Não sei porque eu não consigo olhar para aquele. achar que o que é que eu venho este aqui não dá para ver ninguém que põe. Não. Olha o inicial. Carcineiro. Olha o coração. Também. Estou meter letras no meu tomar. Pois, só porque sim. Uma coisa que eu, gostei, que eu por acaso gostei bastante. Quando a gente compara o Fallout 4 com este. É o facto de... O nosso personagem no 4 falar pá eu acho que não há mal nenhum com um personagem silencioso aliás às vezes mais vale um personagem silencioso 
aquilo que um personagem fala demasiado. Mas eu também não sou o gajo para fazer isso porque hum, se eu tiver um personagem que seja estilo Deadpool em termos da quantidade de vezes que ele fala dentro do jogo eu não me importo, até por acaso prefiro um se for para ter um um personagem que vá estar a falar prefiro que ele seja estilo Deadpool Epá, prefiro, simplesmente acho que Deadpool é um personagem que em termos a forma como ele fala com, o, com quem joga o jogo dele, com nós os jogadores, acho que é bom, acho que é uma, é uma coisa diferente. Porque hoje em dia parece que os jogos têm medo, ou que os desenvolvedores têm medo de pôr nos jogos algo como aquilo que tem o Deadpool. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Yeah, motion blur. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Hmm. Acho que vou deixar isto assim. Para já. Perception. Eu não vou usar muita cena de else. Posso pôr dois pontos aqui. Intelligence, não carisma. Intelligence sem ter algum. Agility. Assim. <laughs> Most patients don't get out of bed after being shot and then move like they was in perfect control. You're unusual, I'll say that. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets gonna leave you nuttered in a big one. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Light. Mother. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature.
I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. Okay. Last. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Hmm. Damage weapons? Nope. Lockpick, melee weapons? Nope. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Huh? Este é o problema do Border. É bom. I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Estou a fazer. Não. 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 Não.
sugar bombs depois dá para a gente usar para fazer comidas mais lá para a frente. Ah, isso serve para vender. Isto é só tudo do meu ser pessoal. Podia bastante porque simplesmente sou. Não é daquelas pessoas que gosta de colecionar tudo que dá para colecionar. Refrigerator. What? Isto só porque é um dos componentes que a gente depois mais. Acho que é. Acho que é para... Não, acho que não é para Let's Light, mas sei que mais lá para a frente existe um. Uma coisa que a gente precisa de componentes que a gente consegue facilmente agora no início. Paperweight não, que isso não serve para nada. Depois o bolo neste momento não me vai ajudar completamente nada. Oi? Não é que eu não sabia que aquilo estava ali? Não sei se essa Asperilla é uma cena que a gente precisa de colecionar. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. I don't mention it. You should talk to Sonny Smiles before. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore.
Hey, partner, might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trails! Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for... The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. 
was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. No, no. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back, and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. <laughs> Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned. <laughs> Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Not in good springs, no. Most of what's in, if you want to take a shot at it. If the lock's too... You'll need those to pick the lock. Always happy to help someone. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. So, meet me outside, behind the saloon. Everything all right? Well, let's just finish. If you're looking for supplies, Chad over at the general store can help you out. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. 
Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Este é o nome do costume de jogar a enfrentar tudo que for monstros que aparecerem. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Braço é 9 milímetros. Use See? 9 milímetros. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Braduca. Come on. Come on. There's too many. Oh,
Ow. Que é melhor um gajo usar uma destas quando eu estou muito perto. Sim, está bem, Ah, oh, hell's não. bells. There's not some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. I thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some xander root and a brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Não, não vou dar a luta àquele se algum nosso estiver muito no mundo. Apesar de Gecko Meat ser muito útil, não vou dar o trabalho de estar a ir pegar Gecko Meat daqueles Geckos ali. Não, 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 não,